So today we're going to be having a chat about what a homologous series is, specifically for alkanes and alkenes and what that means. Let's do our definitions first. So a homologous series is just a family of compounds and they have two defining features. They have the same general formula and they also have similar chemical properties to each other. So we're going to look at what that means in the context of alkanes and alkenes today. I'm hoping that the alkanes look pretty familiar to you. So here we've got methane, ethane and propane, but equally I could have drawn an alkane with 100 carbons in it. The thing that they all have in common is the general formula, and we write that as CnH2n plus 2. So that means that I know that if I had something with 100 carbons in it, that it would have 202 hydrogens in that compound, and that would make an alkane. In terms of chemical properties, we're talking about reactivity, and all of these kind of react in the same way. And for alkanes, that means that they kind of burn really, really easily. So alkanes are generally unreactive, but they all burn easily. Here's some alkenes. In the same way as for the alkanes, we can write the general formula. And you can see this time it's CnH2n. So I always have double the amount of hydrogens as I have carbons. The chemical properties in this case are similar because all of the alkenes have those double bonds, which means that they can always undergo addition reactions when those double bonds pop open and break. Whilst it's not explicitly in the syllabus, it's worth mentioning here that you also have a trend in the physical properties in a homologous series. So within the alkanes, I can predict the boiling points because as they get longer, the boiling points get higher and higher and higher in a pattern. So we use this in organic chemistry to separate them out with fractional distillation. And that's the pattern in the boiling points as they get longer.